One of our favorites, Fernando Vina, back in town. Four years with the Cardinals. Leadoff man and one of the fastest to turn a double play that we've seen here in St. Louis. Hey, always good to have you back. How you doing, Fernando? Good to be with you, Dan. You and yeah, Rick. Great. You I got appreciate it. Yeah, both you of you. Yeah, you've been so good to me throughout my career here. Well, you earned it. There's a fly ball out to left as Bassett's trying to pick up his first major league hit. So what keeps you busy these days? Uh, I'm, I'm coaching the, the youngsters, trying to teach them and develop them with some good habits uh, early on in the baseball field and also doing uh, some camps for uh, Major League Baseball. We travel around and we do uh, camps for the kids that are underprivileged and get out there and we can help them. We're going to Hawaii next month to the different islands and uh, go show uh, these kids a little bit and help them learn the game of baseball. So I love it. I hope it. you uh, saw what the Cardinal reaction was to Steven Piscotti when he came up here as an ex player and of course we just had a big weekend with Albert Pujols here and do you get the sense when you come back to St. Louis and I know you haven't had a chance to do it much that that you're at home a little bit and do you do you the fans treat you uh, the way they treated you when you played? without a doubt definitely I, I seen a lot of the fans today with the signing of the bobbleheads and stuff and Man, it's, it's just a special place. You hear it from so many people, but it's a fact. I mean, it's true. This is the best place in, uh, in the game of baseball to play. They're so supportive. They never forget about you. They, they rally and they give a, the, you know, the opposite team also compliments when they do good things. So this is just a great place to play, always supportive, and they make you feel good. And that's, from my opinion, from day one when I got here traded from the Brewers. And we were uh, so happy to have you here in St. Louis. You had so many great moments. And uh, we talk about you a lot on the air when we talk about how quick hands are. I mean, I still don't believe uh, that I've seen a second baseman. We've got a pretty good one here in Colton Wong, and I'm interested in what you think about him. But your hands were so fast, getting the ball in and out of the glove on the turn. Uh, what, how much have you seen Colton play? I've seen Colton a lot. I, I've, uh, I know watching him last year, I thought he should have won the gold glove. He's got great feet, and he really prepares before each pitch, which makes you a, a really, really good bona fide gold glove uh, participant to, to be able to win that. So if you look at him, he gets his feet down before that ball crosses uh, the plate, and that's something that you have to do if you want to be a good infielder. If you see these guys on the web gems, that's what all of them do. The Ozzie Smith, uh, Omar Vizquel, they always prepare and kind of envision that play before it gets to you, and that's what Colton Wong does so well. Here's a 3-2 pitch. Our guest, Fernando Vina, you won two gold gloves in your four years here in St. Louis. By the way, you also were hit by 79 pitches. <laughs> I know. I'm feeling them now, Dan. I bet you are. <laughs> Here's some of those highlights at number four. Was also an outstanding leadoff man for those Tony La Russa clubs in the early 2000s. 488 games, 285 the career average. And Fernando Vina here with us here in St. Louis. When you reflect on your time with the Cardinals, what stands out for you? You know, it, it, it's just special times playing for Tony La Russa and, and Walt Jockety, who brought me over here from the Brewers in the winter of 1999. It's just a, a great time. We came over here, we started winning, came to a ball club that, that uh, was just together, and we kind of gelled real quick. And in 2000, we run the division. I'll never forget the late, great George Kissel, who helped me a ton. God bless him. Uh, he was just so special in my career here. He opened his arms to me and, and just squeezed me and, and made me feel good here. And also uh, Jose Akindo. So uh, with Tony and, and Jose Akindo, George Kissel together, man, man it was it was a uh, great times for me. Man, that's some uh, that's some knowledge there with those two guys. Yeah, I mean, it, it, it's it's uh, you keep your ears open, take it all in, and enjoy it. And now you're passing it along to other people. That's the way it should be. Uh, you know, we saw that video of your playing days and that last hit where you just slapped the ball the other way you know just thinking about playing today with the shift the way it is uh, you, you might hit 320 <laughs> <laughs> I'd like to you know you think so but it's tough I mean it's, you know how it is Rick to, yeah. and Dan to to hit in this league and, and to be consistent but yeah definitely it's it's something you want to do you want to be able to spray the ball I knew my role I had to spray the ball all fields to have a chance you know and, and to get on base and be the spark plug as much as I could and and I worked at it. I got my front foot down early and just tried to, to hit the ball where they weren't and, and, and to be able to start something for the big guys, for Pujols and uh, Jimmy Edmonds and Renteria, you name it. I mean, we had some great players behind me. 2-2 two -two pitch is tap foul. Do you have a favorite moment when you think back to your time in St. Louis? I think it was in 2000 when we first, you know, I first got brought over here. We kind of put us all together. Walt brought Jimmy Edmonds from the Angels and uh, Edgar Renteria had come over from the Marlins, myself uh, from the Brewers. and. That first year, you know, to win a, a, a championship, uh, the division with uh, Daryl Kyle, also right. the late great, God bless him, and, and uh, to put it all Dave together. Dave Beers. Dave Beers. I mean, we had a very good team, and everybody played together. Polanco, I mean, Marrero, I mean, we did some good things together as a team, and I. You know, you got to give Tony a lot of credit, which we all do. But for him to be able to get everybody going, I appreciate him day day in, day out. 25 different personalities, and Tony could fire you up one by one. He knew exactly what every guy needed, whether he needed a little 
pat on the rear end or he needed to get under your skin and fire you up to make you play and get you going. That's what Tony was so great at. He's an yeah. awesome manager. You talk about being ready as a defender. He as a manager made sure all of his players and he himself was ready for everything that, that could happen. Uh, you know you, you think back at uh, you were here four years right. Yes. And, yes. And, does it seem like it was the blink of an eye or does it seem like it was a long time? I mean, I, most players have that feeling, Fernando, that we're done already. Yeah. Yeah. Where to go? That's right. my, kind of my feeling. I got here today and I mean, I'm already 50 years old now, if you can believe it. So it's, wow. it's crazy how time flies. Uh, the time here is it, it just seems like yesterday. So uh, I guess good times don't last forever. Right. And uh, that's what this plan for the St. Louis Cardinals and this organization, the DeWitt organization is a, a special place for every player. And you got to cherish it and take it in because uh, you know the window's small. You got to enjoy it. Keep coming back will you. Thank you Rick for having Please me. Please do. Please Thank do. You do. Yeah. It's great Thank to you so have much. you back. Appreciate it. Thank you guys for having yeah, me. Yeah, One of back. our favorites. Fernando Vina, the first pitch here at the ballpark.